Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the weekly real estate update with Coldwell Banker and Chad Loomis. JK. All right, well, it was a big weekend, so we wanted to display the mums, right? The mums. <laughs> they're like dads, but they're way smarter, and I think, Chad, we'd all agree with that. I, I agree with that, 100%. Yes, well, it was a big weekend, not only because it was Mother's Day weekend, but the Casper market caught on fire. Yeah, it was a great week for Casper, and congratulations to all those real estate agents out there that have got all, the, all these under contracts. Man, I tell you what. So we're gonna tell you all about that. Uh, do you wanna know local market or you wanna know big market? Let's do local market. This okay, time. we're gonna start off with really good news from the local <laughs> market on Mother's Day weekend. Yeah, so over the last week, uh, we had an increase of 26 pending sales overall. You gotta say it again, because it's not two to six. It's 20 really six. combined. It is crazy, so that's the biggest week we've had in, I, don't, I can't remember when. Yeah, so, if ever, yeah. if ever, I mean seriously. Yeah. So 181 pending sales overall. We're approaching that 200 mark, which we haven't seen since, what, 2022? Um, yes. I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, so the one, but what sector do you think had the, had the biggest jump? The biggest jump? I'm gonna yeah. say between 300 and 500. 300 okay. and 500. Okay, we'll see. 115 to 215 range had an increase of three. <laughs> We're up to 24 overall there. The 215 to 315 range had an increase of 12. Ooh, We're up to 47 overall there. Okay. The 315 to five had an increase of five. Eight. We're up to 44 in that sector. <laughs> and the 500 plus range had an increase of three. Huh? So okay. we're up to 34 in that sector. That's crazy. Oh man, yeah. 34? 34 overall. Over half a million. Yeah. Wow. Okay, well, when the median <laughs> price, I guess, is 400,000, I guess it's not hard to get up to the half a million. So. Right, yeah. But that's amazing that there's enough of those homes, by the way, in the, what was it, the 200 to 215 sector, or 200 to 315? 250 to 350, yeah. I can't believe there's that many homes on the market that were able to go under contract, because right. that is a very, I mean, that's a low entry point for us in the cost for It period, is, yeah. So. They're probably all gone now. Yeah, 100%, <laughs> exactly. exactly. All right. Well, well, anything else? That's it on my, my end. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's go national market because I will tell you those statistics are not the same for the <laughs> national market by any stretch of the imagination. Now, there's really great pockets in the country that are having success, like we're seeing in the Casper Buffalo share of the markets. But there's also a lot of areas that are not doing that well across the country, surprisingly enough. And it is due to like, fluctuations in interest rates, availability of homes in the markets. So here's what we got going on right now. Um, and I'm gonna share two very important statistics here at the end that are gonna really kind of dictate a little bit of like what we're anticipating for the rest of the summer going into the fall. First and foremost, we had about we, we have uh, about 600,000 homes on the market. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty much in, in, time, in, in, in uh, comparison to where we've been the last couple of weeks. Uh, we had about 89,000 new come on the market and 20,000 of those went under contract immediately. So very similar to some statistics you've heard from us in the past. Now, here's two very key things that I want you to be ready of. One is that when they look at uh, where we're at on the medium sales for our medium active price of a property right now, we're at $450,000. Two years ago in 2022, or actually I shouldn't say 2022, it's actually last year, we were at the same exact medium price. Okay. So we've had 0% mm. inflation part when it comes to uh, where we're at with property. So okay. that's a big key factor because we've seen year over year that homes are continuously increasing in price. We're at 450 just like we were last year. So I think that's very important. Second thing is that we've had for now about the fourth straight week in a row, we've seen an increase in price adjustments or if I wanna be brutally honest, price cuts. Uh, we're at 33.7%. Last week we're at 33 and a half uh, for homes that were having price cuts. So what does that tell you? More inventory, more homes adjusting prices. We got a really flat curve when it comes to um, the properties and the valuations from where they were at a year to date. It just means that there's gonna be more competition, more opportunities for buyers and more sales. We see this obviously in the Casper market specifically. And so nationally, we're gonna to start to see a trend where we're gonna actually have more inventory and buyers are gonna have more options, which is what we've been screaming for for the past couple of years. Nice. All right, so, cool. You know, so I don't wanna say it's good news, I don't wanna say it's bad news, but I mean, to be honest <laughs> with you, it's a healthy market and it's very encouraging to know that people still have confidence that they need to sell their property and yeah. then they can, uh, and buyers are gonna have some options in order to purchase. Well, apparently there's some huge confidence here in the Casper market, so. And we love that, we love to hear that. So, all right, my man, that's all I got all right. for you. Yeah, that's all I have. Hey guys, we will see you next week, but in the meantime, if you guys have any questions regarding the market, 
you know who to get a hold of, or you need to buy or sell, reach out to anybody here at the Coldwell Banker office. Yeah. We will be glad to help you guys out. You got it.